Okay, so what we're doing here is um, we're trying to keep our chassis a solid square. We don't want to have a cutout in it because we feel that um, a cutout chassis could be less rigid. Um, especially with the very beefy end rails of the M1 for you too, uh, we want to take advantage of that. Uh, so what we did here um, is we identified a problem of having to take the tote and bring it into the chassis. That means we have to bring it up and into the house, right? So one of the ideas we had was to stick a roller on the front of the robot, have it spin up the tote, and bring it in over the rail of the chassis. Uh, so what we did is we took a, an intake from a Cybertooth Robotics team, um, basically hooked it up with uh, our motor meter here, um, and basically we're just going to see if it works. The idea of lifting it with a roller seems to work. Obviously our geometry doesn't work at all here. It's getting caught in the lip, the intake. What we can do now is we can move on to building a better prototype that doesn't have a lip and we can actually work on integrating the bottom roller with some side rollers and seeing if we can actually bring it all the way into the chassis. So here's our prototype for the tote capture mechanism. We're taking advantage of these slots underneath the lip on the totes. Uh, so what we have here is a simple two by four frame and we have these polycarbonate tabs that are bent a couple of times. They're tapered at the top, so they kind of self-align. And as you lower it down over the top of the tote, like so, it'll capture it. And That's it cool. captures it pretty securely. I'm gonna demonstrate that, Logan. Oh, you want <laughs> wow. What's, what's different about this test than the test last time? So previously we just had the roller on the bottom. We've added these two side rollers to try to help bring the tote in, contact here with some pressure, flip it up and get it into the robot. We're, we have got some hang up right where, you know, on the contact edge here, we gotta work that out. But once we kind of get it started, you, you know, we kind of saw it shoot into the robot. Um, so that was really exciting. Um, but a few more things we gotta work out. We did have a small fracture on this piece here, so we gotta see if we can keep going with that. A lot of good information was learned from that, um, so we just kinda gotta keep refining and keep going, and um, hopefully we'll figure out this intake system and be able to make it work. How would this be implemented with stacking, or is this a different mentality altogether? Well, the, the idea is here would also be a small conveyor system of some kind that's connected to this bottom roller, and the idea is that the robot brings it all the way in right ready for the stacking mechanism to lift another bin up, grab another one, lift another bin up, grab another one. Um, basically the, the point was to bring this to the stacking mechanism completely. So the stacking mechanism doesn't have to worry about orienting um, the bin at all. It's just, oh, it's there for us, great, thanks. Does that actually answer your question or no? Sounds good.